to reveal the rest of the brackets. Uh -oh. Let's get started. Jacksonville State, you know, is the number one overall seed. They will get the winner of Chattanooga, the Southern Conference champion. Oh, yeah! with head football coach Joe Moorhead of the Fordham football team. Coach, you find out first round opponent Chattanooga in the FCS playoffs. How are you feeling right now to hear your name once again called for the third straight year? No, I feel ecstatic. Uh, it's tremendous for our kids and you know, certainly Chattanooga wasn't one <laughs> that we were anticipating, but but it's great. I mean, they're a great football program. Uh, I believe they beat New Hampshire last year in, in, in uh, one of the later rounds. So, uh, yeah, I mean, for, for us to lose the amount of players that we did and the production that we did, for us to be able to come back and win in that large bid and be in the playoffs for the third consecutive year, uh, it's a credit to our kids and our culture. And, you know, we're excited to get started in our preparation. First time in three years you guys will start on the road in the first round. Is there any different mentality having that first game on the road, especially after having the bye week this past week? Yeah, it'll be a little bit different for us, you know, uh, you know, facing Sacred Heart the past two years at home and then having to go on the road against uh, Towson in New Hampshire. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, it'll be something we'll just have to adjust to. It, it won't change our preparation Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but obviously, you know, having to get on a plane, get down there, and, you know, switch some more things around itinerary-wise will be a bit of a change, but, uh, you know, it'll be a welcome change. Uh, it's, it's a great spot to be in. With that bye week, you're able to get healthy where Chattanooga had to play Florida State this past week. What does that do for your team, having that extra week of, of rest and leading up to this game? Yeah, it was a little bit of a catch-22. You know, we didn't get the rest during the season, and, uh, you know, that affected us a little bit at the tail end of the season in terms of some injuries and things like that. But, you know, uh, you know, the big focus for our guys was to, to, to uh, recharge mentally and rehab physically this, this past week. And, you know, we didn't practice. We had a couple of lifts and runs and things like that. So, uh, you know, I'm excited that our guys are going to have the opportunity to be fresh heading into the, into the playoff run here. Well, congratulations on making the playoffs for the third straight year. Excellent. Thank you. We're here with linebacker Stephen Hodge of the Fordham Rams, finding out your first-round opponent will be Chattanooga on the road on Saturday afternoon. Stephen, you missed out last year on that NCAA playoff run. You get another chance at it. What are your feelings when you saw Fordham pop up on that big screen? Uh, definitely relieved that we got the uh, at-large bid. Very excited. I uh, get to play Chattanooga down there after uh, Thanksgiving, so pretty pumped about that. One of the more experienced players on this team. You guys lost so much from last year to this year. And for yourself, you have that NCAA F FCS playoff experience. What do you tell these new guys, these freshmen, about the experience of going on to the playoffs and going on the road? Uh, just every game, is it's do or die at this point. I mean, you lose, you're out. So everyone's kind of playing for their lives right now. Here with senior offensive lineman Garrick Mayweather Jr. of the Fordham football team following the Rams' announcement. They're in back in the playoffs for the third straight year. First-round matchup against Chattanooga. Garrick, what were your feelings when you saw Fordham come up there? Just a feeling of excitement. Uh, it's a blessing to be able to play more football in the November, past Thanksgiving, anytime. So, uh, you know, just just really happy that we, we got that large bid and we're able to – now we can play more football, you know. This is your third straight appearance uh, for yourself and a couple of the seniors. What are you telling uh, the, the new guys, the freshmen, that, yeah, they've gone through 11 games this season, but playoffs, a little bit different experience? Well, it's going to be an atmosphere they're not used to, um, especially on the road against a bigger team. Um, we really just, you know, you just got to keep your head down and, you know, prepare like any other game. It, just because it's a, on a bigger stage doesn't mean our preparation will be any different. We're going to prepare for this team just like we prepare for any other team during the season and you know, hopefully get a win. Well, thanks so much, Gary, and good luck next week. Thank you.